Oh yeah, you guys remember Spunias, right? We fought one in Rogue Port Sewers, and they are now common enemies. Oh no! That thing in the back is what I was really worried about. That's a dark Bristol. You remember Bristols? They were really easy, but only because the Pop Walks could kill them. Not so much anymore. Oh, but Mario can kill them by jumping on them. Sweet. Don't worry. We're gonna encounter way more dark Bristols before the night's over. And we also finally encountered Piranha Plants. That's a Piranha Plant. In fact, I think this is the strongest type of them all. Max HP is 15, attack is 9, and defense is 0. Its attack power is absurdly high. It may look like a normal Piranha Plant, but don't be fooled, it's super tough. If we get beaten by a flower, we'll never hear the end of it, know what I mean? Ouch. Alright. I... Where's my Joey Super? There we go. This is the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Alright. I forgot how powerful Piranha Plants are. I don't I didn't remember them being that annoying. Fortunately, Mario can take them out just by jumping on them. With this much attack buffs, anyways. And now we're actually getting decent star points for these guys. And a pretty lucky badge. Because we didn't have enough of those. Oh, brother, yep. These guys, these are... I think Dark Bristols might be the most annoying enemy in the game. And those are Arantulas. They're like Piters, but way tougher. Alright, I got a tattle on the Dark Bristol. That's a Dark Bristol. It's an ancient creature made of rock. Max HP is 8, attack is 8, and defense is 4. Oh! Should have killed him, I think. You can't jump on it because it of its spikes, and you can't approach due to its spears. And its defense is high. You'd better take it out with special attacks or items. Or just have a great badge set up. Yuck, 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 yuck. Get out of your Bristol. Get out of your Bristol. <laughs> Rowie Wink Mario. Faint poison, thank you. Man, these guys are way more powerful than they look, considering they attack by spitting webs at you. That's an Arantula. It's a spider-like creature that lives deep underground. Max HP is 16, attack is 7, and defense is 0. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It'll spit web wads at you. Sometimes it even attacks several times in a row. That coloring freaks me out. I'm kind of scared of spiders, so let's do this quickly. Look at these enemies and how ridiculously high their HP and attack are. But at least now we're getting star points. God bless these pickups. Hi, Arantula. So fortunately, now that we've tattled on these guys, we can make short work of them. The Dark Bristols are the main reason why I wanted the multi-bounce strategy plus Rally Wing to work. Because this way, Mario can multi-bounce on the enemies at the start, Lumello can rally wink him, then Mario can multi-bounce again to kill pretty much every enemy, no matter what. The only thing is, you gotta get those tattles in. Oh no, piranha plants. Maybe I should put those Flower Saver badges back on. Don't 
That might be a good idea. Yeah. I mean, as, as safe as I feel with those defend pluses and stuff. Oh, man. I really... I, I should probably conserve my HP or my FP. Ten star points! Oh, thank you. That's really nice. I also want to be able to use Sweet Feast pretty soon. But not right now. <laughs> Not when facing this many enemies. No, no! Oh, that's not good. Well, I mean, it's not terrible. Oh, this means I could, I'll could i be able to use Sweet Feast on this, in this battle. I can kill most of them. So there's one lone survivor. And they don't deal as much damage. I didn't want all four of them attacking me, though. Sweet Feast time! Oh, no. No! My Mario HP! <laughs> no, no! Dad, doggone it, I hit both poison mushrooms. That's really bad. Well, that was... not as much HP as I would have liked to recover with Mario. Still, that gave me a good amount of FP recovered. And this is why Spike Shield is incredibly important, because most of these enemies I would not be able to even jump on without Spike Shield. Like Spunias, Bristols, Piranha Plants, none of those guys. Oh, fun. And by fun, I mean not fun at all. Actually, Dark Bristols with the multi-bouncing this much power are really not that good. And with all these flower saver, with one flower saver for Mario and two flower saver peas, the multi bounce only takes one FP, and then Rally Wink only takes two. So pretty much every battle in the Pit of Hunter Trials you can beat with only three FP, provided your BP is high enough that you can, you know, equip all those badges. We still haven't even encountered all the enemy, the new enemies. Gabella, you're just amazing. Also, they are totally going on a date now. Gabella's kissing Mario every battle for good luck. And Mario's using that kiss to do ridiculously awesome things. I got that. He packs a bite. Keep in mind, the reason I'm not dealing damage on these last ones very occasionally is because I'm missing the action command, and I have the all-or-nothing badge equipped. 
Which means if you mix the miss the action command, it won't deal any damage. Oh boy. 90th floor. The treasure here is... The Lucky Day Badge! When Mario gets attacked, he causes enemies to miss more often than the Pretty Lucky Badge. It's not amazing, but... At this point, if my calculations are correct... We only have one badge left. And that's what you get at the very end. Ten floors left. We can do this. I still have, like, pretty much all my items, too. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hi there. You remember Dark Wizards and Regular Wizards? Oh, my... What? Meet Elite Wizards. These guys. These guys. That's an Elite Wizard. This is the top of the heap for Half Machine Organisms. Max HP is 12, attack is 8, and defense is 5. You can probably guess this, but it uses various magic moves in battle. And if it's alone, it'll create illusions of itself. It has no real weakness. So just use whatever you've got to beat it, okay? Let's go, Mario. Ah, uh, I'm gonna use Art Attack. I could use Supernova, but I think Art Attack is better. I hope. I may not be able to actually kill them all with Art Attack. Come on, please. Oh, come on, please. Yes! Whew. I was about to run out of Art Attack. Oh my gosh! 25 star points! <laughs> okay, that was amazing. That was uh, freaking amazing. My thing was, if I didn't kill them all with Art Attack, all of them would have been able to attack me, and I would have certainly died. Hi, you. I was wondering when you guys showed up. I thought you showed up in, like, the floor 70 or something. These are poison puffs. That's a poison puff. Basically just a puff of poisonous air. Max HP is 15, attack is 8, and defense is 0. Its poison gas attack is 10! These fiends charge you, but they also save up toxins and poison you with them. Scum! Plus you can't touch them when they're saving up toxins or you'll get hurt. Lame! That is lame. Well, I'm gonna kill that one with the Thunder Rage first. So, you're charging, and you're charging, and let me guess. Oh, you're not charging. Okay. Well, you know, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill this guy. And next, God bless the quick change badge, we are swapping to Vivian, who's going to veil me. Because that poison gas attack, I don't want to deal with. Not only, it, only does it deal ridiculously high damage, it also poisons us. Um, ouch. Holy cow, I'm so sorry, Vivian. Rowie Winkle, let me attack again, and I'm, because I'm about to get a level up, I'm going to swap back to Vivian so she gets full HP from the level up. Out of here, Poison Puffs. And we get another level up for our awesomeness! BP. It's BP. It's gonna be BP. <laughs> 51 BP. Remember, BP caps at 30 in the original. Alright. Well, now that I've got an extra free BP, I'm gonna equip some stuff. I'm definitely equipping the damage dodge. Now, here's the Fane. I only have one BP left, which I think I'm going to use to get Super Appeal P. Super Appeal P will help me build up that star power meter a bit faster if I need to appeal. Oh, hi! I, I forgot about you guys. Oh no, not elite wizards. These guys are the super version of the bulky bob -omb. bob -olks. That's a bob -olk. That's easily the biggest bob -omb I've ever seen. Max HP is 10, attack is 4, and defense is 2. It won't attack, but once its fuse is lit, it'll explode after a while. So the problem is how to beat it before it goes off. I mean, its bomb attack has a power of 16! That's no joke! Seriously, watch out for that. Just go out at it to beat it. Pull out all the stops. 
Or you could just set it off easily with fire explosions. Your call. Um, that's not good. Arr, Mega Man. Take that elite wizard. He's got a ton of defense. Well, this is good, though. I have used hardly any of my items. Which means I can save them all for the last floor, which is pretty darn tough. Oh, yep. I was wondering when these guys were going to come in as well. Hi. Come down so I can... Oh, I couldn't get his the first strike. Amazing! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. That's so incredibly bad. Okay. Well, I'm going to start by tattling on Mr. Swampire here. That's a Swampire. It's a feared health sucker that hides in the darkness. Max HP is 20, attack is 6, and defense is 0. It sucks health from its prey to add to its own HP, and that totally grosses me out like you wouldn't believe. If you let it feast on you, its HP will get really high. Focus your attacks on it. Okay. Well, time for the big guns, Supernova, baby. We are gonna mash the ever-loving crud out of that A button. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on! I've got to kill everybody! I've got to kill everybody! Got to kill everybody! Got to kill everybody! <laughs> okay, well, the Amazing Daisies didn't die. Neither did the Swampire! Are you serious? <laughs> so I only... Wow, okay. Supernova is not even nearly as good as I thought it was. Thank goodness the Amazing Daisies ran away, though. If they didn't run away, they would have probably made me use all of my life shrooms. Which is not ideal. Holy cow! I should have just used, like, Art Attack. Okay. I thought Supernova dealt 20 damage, not 15. No! I didn't even kill the stupid Poison Puff! Hmm, and Kumbella's about to die, which is not good. Thank you, B-I-N-G-O. I would prefer HP, but... I will happily take full star power as well. I know, I just realized Kumbella can take this guy out. Alright, Kumbella's incredibly low on HP, so I'm gonna actually- <gasps> Ultra Shroom! Thank you. Wow, that was nice. Okay, so... I'll use the Shroom Crepe. There you go, Gumbella. Maxed out her HP and maxes out my FP. Gumbella did not have enough HP to justify using the Ultra Shroom. Hi. Okay, Poison Puffs appear way more frequently than I thought they did. I thought they were on, like, two floors. And remember, just imagine what it would be like... If you didn't use this strategy. Granted, there are other strategies out there, and there are better strategies out there than the one I'm using, but those strategies also come, require insane amounts of grinding. Oh, frig. If all the badges I have equipped, the poison gas is like one of the few things I actually can't directly touch with Mario. Let's see, who could... Uh, Bobbery, if I use Bobombast, can reach him. And with two Flower Saver Peas, it's not hellishly expensive to use. 
Thank you, Bobbery old boy. At this point, I may have tattled on everything in here. I think I've tattled on everything except the final uh, fight. So here's the thing. If I kill the Bobolk, then this guy's going to duplicate himself. So I'm going to try to kill this guy first. Actually, not even try. I'm going to kill that guy first. <laughs> Light your fuse, please. Thank you. I should have spent some money before coming here. Because <laughs> there's all there's all this money that I have to leave behind. What floor is this? Floor 9? Okay. Two floors after this, and then we've got the final floor. Okay, so even Mario just can't kill these guys normally. That's lame. Alright, um, hmm. These guys have 20 HP piece. That is ridiculous. I'm gonna art attack them, rally wink, and then art attack them again. <laughs> or multi bounce. Actually, yeah, multi-bounce will work instead of the second arc, arc attack. Rally Wink, thank you for existing. That's one of those moves that doesn't even sound all that good, but it is. Good bot. Oh my gosh, those guys give a lot of star points. They give five star points a piece. Actually, no, less than that. Four star points a piece. Still a good amount, though. Oh, the f floor ninety, floor ninety nine is different than I thought it was. Are you serious? All right, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hope and pray that this one stylish move will give me enough star power for Supernova. Nope, not quite. That's fine. Then I'll use Arc Attack. No, oh, I only made a half circle. He's gonna charge up. Oh, he didn't. Well, thank you for not doing that. Super Appeal P badge, that'll restore a good amount of star power. Oh, I don't think I'm getting a. I think this is the 99th floor as well, so. Yep, I thought the 99th floor was four dark Koopa patrols. Guess not. Alright, well, it's time to do some serious badge overhauling. So I'm going to unequip multi-bounce, that will be of no help. I'm going to unequip Jumpman and these P up D down badges. I'm going to unequip all my Flower Saver badges as well. And Ice Power and Spike Shield. And Super Appeal P. I'll keep on Quick Change. So I have 24 BP of which to use, and I still have those Power Plus badges equipped. Okay. Well, for starters, Charge and Charge P. And Power Bounce. And Power Smash. Actually, Power Smash or Piercing... I forget. I think Piercing Blow will be better. I'll equip both, actually. Why not? Alright, besides that, I'm going to equip... Defend Plus, Defend Plus P. Second Defend Plus. And let's see. Actually, I'll equip to the two Super Appeal P badges. You know, just in case. 
Alright, you all ready? Final floor. You heard the tale of the three dragons? Here's the third one. battle. Welcome to the final fight of the Pit of Hunter Trials, Bone Tail. That's Tattle. That's Bone Tail. He's the oldest brother of Hook Tail. So old he's just bones, in fact. Wow, now that's old. His body's max HP is 200, his attack is 8, and his defense is only 2? I thought he had a 5 defense. He has various breaths that might confuse us or put us to sleep. When his HP gets low, he'll recover or reanimate, as the case may be. He's probably stronger than the last boss. Seriously, let's do this right. No, Shadow Queen's tougher than this guy, because this guy can't drain your HP and refill his own. So the reason that I equip the charge badges is for ground pound on the Swift Sid. Alright, Mario. What do you say we give us a power lift? I'm going for as many attack pluses as I can. Oh no! Oh no! That is bad. Cool. Plus free attack. That's great. Power bounce. <laughs> One more charge. Ouch. Well, that's not very nice, now is it? Alright, let's use our Zest Deluxe. Alright, Sid. Go to town. Actually, that wasn't as much damage as I expected. Yeah, honestly, Bone Tail is not really all that difficult. Like, I felt that the, the rest of the Pit of Under Trials was much tougher. Alright. It's time to show off some of the moves we haven't shown off before. Like, Shell Shield. Press A with proper timing. Are you s Okay. Bravo! That sucks. <laughs> well, at least it sucks on Bone Tail. Power Bounce is not worth it unless you charge. Alright. Flurry, let's use Dodgy Fog. It makes Mario Dodgy tilt the control stick with the proper timing. And Mario's now dodgy, so attacks will sometimes miss. But besides that, Flurry sucks. <laughs> oh, it lasts for free turns, though, so maybe... Maybe she doesn't complete the same. Alright, um... Uh, oh, I know. Let's use Bomb Squad again. You're very impressive, Mr. Bone Tail. But I'm more impressive! I've got half his HP down. Ouch. Alright, um... 
I guess I'll use hold fast. I haven't used that. Press A when the white lights up. Direct attacks will be countered. Oh! Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Why did I do that? So Bomb Squad is bad because it deals white damage multiple times. Oh, nice. The I-N-G-O. Bingo. Ouch. Okay, you know what? I'm putting Bobbery in the front to increase the chances that Bone Tail is going to get countered. Oh, thank you, Exploding Jets. That's very useful. Whoa, what the heck is that? I don't remember that. Okay, well... Oh, never mind. Bobbery still has his counter ability. Okay, well, that didn't even work. Lame. Let's charge. <laughs> oh, that's right, Sid has almost no HP. Might want to fix that. Ouch. I'll give him a blue sheet. Bone Tail's cracking a bit. <laughs> Is that like a pillar from the room? That's pretty amazing. Ow. Not nice. All right, Sid, can you finish him? Finish him! Bone Tail, you suck so much! Oh! All right, whoever finishes this, it's gonna be the last hit. Bobbery. Oh, shoot, I can't use the Bombast. Oh, that would have been an amazing ending. Alright, well... Vivian, punch him. <laughs> and one star point for Bone Tail. Shadow Queen's torture pit has been cleared. This is an impressive room, though. <laughs> very, very creepy looking. He's still twitching. He is still twitching. That is not good. What's in here? It's the return postage badge! Makes direct attackers take half the damage they do. So basically, it's, if an enemy damages 10, that'll take 5 damage in doing so. Interesting badge! It also takes 7 BP. But... That completes all of our recipes. That completes all of our badges. That should complete the tattle log. Yep, Tatalog is complete, all the crystal stars, and we've been everywhere in the map. 
Let's get out of here. That is the Pit of 100 Trials. Also, if you jump and go back down the pipe... You can't enter from here. Oh, darn it. Oh, I just jumped through a gate. That's pretty cool. So we have essentially now done everything in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Except for one thing. We have to go back to Far Outpost and let the guy know that we actually did clear up his graffiti. That is literally the last thing that we have to do in this entire Let's Play. It's pretty funny. So the Pit of Hunter Trials was very, very tough, as you likely saw. I had a pretty amazing strategy throughout that, and I still... Actually, I never even used any of my life shrooms. That's impressive. If I were to do that for Pit of Hunter Trials again, I probably would have grinded a little more before going in. Not, like, level grinded on Amazy Daisies, but rather just grinded at the Pianta Parlor for some more badges, like more multi-bounces, probably. If I could get multiple copies of the P up, D down badge, I would also do that. Because those only take 2 BP apiece, and if you're powerful enough, you don't even need defense. So generally what people like doing, or at least the hardcore people like doing for Pit of 100 Trials, is going through the game without leveling up Mario's HP, then using Rip Cheetah to take your HP away so you're always at 5 HP, Getting a ridiculously high amount of power rushes and close call badges, so Mario's just always in danger, and thus always has really good luck dodging enemies' attacks, and is insanely powerful, and then just fills up on life shrooms. So, you erased my graffiti, Shapaf! You erased it, Shasloom! I am so grateful to you! But, it is not like I can confirm whether you actually erased it or not, Shabu. Oh well, I guess I will just trust you, Shashakadi! Take this reward, Shapow! Zesty made it for me when I told her how much I was missing the snow, Shafoon. We get a snow bunny! A Zesty dessert that refills 15 HP but freezes you. I am going to start trying to fulfill my own wish now. But you cannot tell anyone what it is, Shafoon. Promise me, Shakroom. And we solved the trouble. That's it. There is, there is nothing more that I can show off in this game. I did it all. I got everything in the entire game. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you had just as much of a blast as I had in this Let's Play, and I hope to see you for my next one. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.